I'm Jean Jeffcoat and you're on the list. A Facebook following for one homeless little dog. Shaq Shackelford has more on the pursuit to find his forever family around town. This is Gus in his weekly obedience classes at Canine Manners and more. Good boy. He is just full of personality. Jasmine Ong is one of several local volunteers helping Gus find a family. A nice loose leash. He's been homeless for at least a year. He has an amazing disposition. He loves people. Jasmine's paid for Gus's classes and others have pitched in for temporary housing and vet bills. He's got a really handsome face, but because he's just a plain brown dog of indistinct breed, he gets overlooked. He was found wandering around at a local Sonic following the car hops. But now Gus has a following of his own. He has his own page on Facebook with nearly 500 likes. That was created by a caring person out of state. Jasmine says this is not the first stray with their own page. But for whatever reason, fans have taken up interest in his well-being. We human beings domesticated them thousands of years ago. We owe it to them to take better care of them. Gus is living at a local boarding facility and they're taking applications. Head to my Facebook page for more info on Gus. Speaking of homes, a new idea could one day help improve the lives of future tornado victims here in the Sooner State. Professors at the University of Cincinnati came up with an innovative shelter prototype a single family wood module faster and easier than government issued trailers. They actually could have a dining space, that they could have a place to read, that they could have a place to sleep. These flat packs are 30 sheets of four foot by eight foot plywood, washers, nuts, and bolts. It would take four people about a half a day to put together. The material cost is anywhere from 3000 to $4,000, relatively cheap. Flat pack shelters would be shrink wrap for protection and are expected to last about three months. For the list, I'm Jack Shackle.